is generally every play, run or pass. Gets the ball to Smith in traffic, and Devontae flashes the speed, gets around the corner, and creates a first down before Williamson. Second and three, Jones is pressured, lobs it to Harris, who collects it, gets around Borland, and leaps to the end zone. A hat trick for Najee Harris. Jones steps up right down the middle of the field. It's touchdown, Devontae Smith. That's bold and it came in motion, got it in the flat, and You know, the projections have me going potentially high first round, second. Every time he touches the ball, something special is going to happen. If you look to a couple teams, you think, maybe I could fall to them. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, uh, be an open book, and just I'll be ready to go compete wherever I go. Having Kyle Pitts is like having an elite quarterback. He will make everybody else's job easier. He will make everybody around him better. So his impact is absolutely spectacular. It's Travis Kelsey. Okay, it's Travis Kelsey with the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, a lot of tight ends have high grades, but this is the highest ever for me. Uh, you know, in terms of a tight end, he's going to be way up there, Kyle Pitts is. It has been said to me personally, and also others are reporting, Kyle Pitts is the best player in this draft. It, this kid played against Patrick Sertain, who's the first or second best corner in the country for Alabama. Ate him up. With the fourth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. Press downfield and with so, them, here is Pitts. The player from Florida that's atop so many people's draft board is the best prospect in this draft. Hello. Thank you. In the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Kadarius Tony. Over the line, the first down and thanks on Tony. Still on the move, the turbo kicking in. Tony Tien. Hello. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select. Be a great practice player. Learn to help each other. If I'm on a scout team giving a look, if I give a look, I'm hurting the guy on the other side of the ball and I'm hurting the team. Learn to be great practice player. Great get off, hand placement, feet movement, movement, feet on contact, running, collision, excellent football. Become a great practice player and learn to help each other out and practice together at a high level. Everybody understand that. Want to be a great team? You've got to be a great team and practice the right way out there. We want our guys to understand when the ball is snapped, your job is to go as hard as you can. Whatever you've been blessed to do, you go as absolutely as hard as you can. But, exactly right. I look like a raw cat compared to Stu. He's ready to go. I'm going to get a piece of my mood though. It doesn't matter if you're just warming up. It don't matter. Every throw counts. And you get to a point where that's the only way you know how to do it. It brings out all the grit in you. Like, it sometimes we'll go out there and it's 98 degrees and it's 102 degrees on the field. And I mean, we got a full on a two hour and 30 minute practice and I mean, we just gotta grind through it.
on the field. All about relentless effort, man. All about relentless effort. Here come the Gators! Gators gonna run it this time. Hand off to Malik Davis, trying to turn the right corner at the 45 of the 50 in FAU territory. Down the sideline, breaking a tackle inside the 35 yard Stepped out of bounds near the 30 yard line. The first big play of the night, give him 31 yards. The snap to Jones, he options off the left, tosses the ball to Pierce. Pierce turns it up and takes it in. Touchdown, Gators! Oh my! The Gators score on their first drive of the season. There's the snap now to Jones. He looks to throw the pass out in the left side. And Rick Willis with a catch. Every single snap of the game. Okay? That's what this is about. Yeah? Everybody in here give a relentless effort every single snap of the game. Here's again, turns the corner. He's got Keon Sitter paving the way inside the 10 yard line. This up, seven yes. yard line to the left hash. The snap to Jones. And he hands it off to it's Pierce. Again. Pierce trying to run. Get this footy. Looked like he lost his foot. Oh, touchdown on a marvelous run where he had great. There's a snap to Richardson on a play action. Richardson drops back and looks to throw the ball down the field. And Jacob Copeland, and he's looking for the end zone. He finds it for a 75-yard Gators touchdown. Well, they were four for six on third down before Felix is blown up. There's the snap now to Jones, standing in the pocket, looks to throw the ball, and fires it down the left side, and it's going to be for Zucker Henderson, and he's there! He's got a touchdown! Oh, my! The cage for Morton dropping in as he throws, fires, and it's going to be intercepted! Touchdown by Henderson! So Rocker step, drops back, and looks to throw. Rainbow is the ball deep down the field. The option and a crease for Jones. To the 10, to the 5, another game touchdown. Five straight scores for Florida. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like that, huh? And here's the ball, Anthony Richard, dropping back, scrambling off to his left, standing, looking to throw, fires the ball. Copeland, sideline left, he's got it, it's caught! Do you understand what a knack Richardson has? Run it here. Breaking tackles. Anthony Richardson in the open field. Stays on his feet. A big play machine. 15 has shown up and shown out. Florida, that's your starting quarterback. 2 0, baby. No better feeling. Condolences to the Florida Gators, Alabama, 52, Florida, 26. I'm predicting a rock. I 
bet you, I, I, I bet my team, they're going to get mobbed. They're going to get destroyed. I got you losing by a minimum of three touchdowns. So if, if, if Florida is closer than that, how about next Friday, you rock a gator tie? Rock a gator tie? Done. Yeah. Done. romp in the swamp so tim oh, tebow it. had you he said three touchdowns florida almost won the game and i asked our first take staff i said you know what this isn't loud enough for me no, that's not good i need enough. more and guess what by the end of the show they delivered here it is this is what you're wearing i gotta tomorrow. go out there and wear a florida gators tie an orange and blue tie with a damn cartoon alligator on it so i ain't happy damn it what's going on everybody uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Hey, uh, we got some NFL topics. We got all of that stuff coming up. I can't see you. Huh? I can't see you. Hey, I need Steven, to see you. Let, the, let, let the people oh. see the, the, the beautiful look. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Steven, hey, you know, there was never a doubt, buddy. I knew you were honorable. You were a man of character. You are a man of integrity. And now you're rocking it, and it looks beautiful. B E A, beautiful. It's perfect, man. This is a man. very embarrassing day. See, for I, you. I know the fashion game a you Florida care so much Gators about it too. Uh, I have to wear this because I lost the bet to that man. I, I'm sick to my. Go, first takes up next. Let's go. The Gators at fourth and thirteen. On this down, this game, the Gators are four for four on fourth downs. 
Snap to Greer. Greer looking, looking, looking. Throws the ball. Got a receiver. There's a catch made on the near sideline. Down the right side, 35-30. It'll be Callaway down the sideline. He's going to score. He's going to score. He's going to score. It's a touchdown. How oh my. Oh my. Antonio Callaway. Snap to Franks. Franks dropping back, stepping up, running the ball, looking, looking. He's going to heave one deep down the field. It's going to be to the goal line. It's going to be gone. It's a touchdown. And the Gators have won the game. <laughs> Tyreek Cleveland. Oh, my. I can't believe what I just saw. The Gators have won the ball game on a bottom throw by Felipe Franks. And this place is an inside asylum again. Oh, my. There's the snap to Jones. Jones looking to throw wide open to the end zone. Touchdown, Malik Davis. Snap to Jones. Jones hands it off to right. Looking for running room to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He's in. A beautiful dance. All the way home. Touchdown, Gators. Oh, snap to Jones. And Jones looks to pass it out here to the left side. Good one. Second and 10, 33-yard line, Jones now on play action, dropping back, and Rainbow's a pass down the right sideline, and it's going to be Whittemore with a catch! One right in it, running back. Boy, look at him, dance around into some open space, to the five, reaches for the goal line! Line from the right hand, the snap to Jones, and Jones throws the pass into the end zone, wide open receiver, Jaquavian Frazier's touchdown, Gators! Collapses this time around and it's picked off. 
The Gators will have the interception. Intercepted. Beautifully picked off by the Gators. Daquan Newkirk. Oh, my. Newkirk, a defensive tackle. Got his hands on the ball and hung on. I live with him. It's my roommate. The snap to Jones. He rolls off to his left. Looking, looking, backpedaling, throwing the ball to the corner of the end zone. And there's Chris Littlebar. He's got it. Second hand, Cam Johnson return. It's going to be a fake. Crosshaw running to his left, to the 30, 35, Crosshaw 40. The Australian across the 45, and across midfield to the 50. And a beautiful fake punt deep in their own territory. That just might be what the Gators need to excite this ball club. And Crosshaw can run a little bit. Good catch there by Jones over the middle. Has Pierce. He's to the 20. It's a foot race to the goal line, and he crosses the tape first. 61 yards. Same play that they hit to Nick Warren Wright. See that fake? If only I would have known that play. Hey, we just told y'all. Offense, defense, oh, hey, We do it out here. So, the Florida Gators get a much needed bounce back victory here today on homecoming. And they do it in shutout fashion. Excuse me, not a first down. It was the yellow line on the field. Not down. That's the line to make. That's the end zone to make. Has time. Throws. Incomplete. And intercepted now. Osterville returned at 51 yards off the play fake. Johnson throws to the end zone. And it is caught. Free first half. That had been a problem. There's the third interception for LSU. Dwight McLaughlin down the sideline. McLaughlin into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Play fake. Man wide open. Touchdown. James Cook with Bennett in the backfield. Gets the carry. James Cook gets the touchdown. That's reminding delayed blitz by Nakobe Dean. And another interception. Play fake. Bennett loads. Going deep to the end zone. Kiaris Jackson has got it. Uh oh. Oh, and it's intercepted by Nakobe Dean. Goodbye, Dean. It's gone. Touchdown, Georgia. And so it goes. We find out on Tuesday nights. If indeed this team is the number one team in the country, pretty sure Zamir White's going to make sure. Touchdown, Georgia. 42 yards for the capper. How fired up Shane Beamer is to be here. Brown under pressure throws the deep ball inside the 30. What a catch by Josh Van. Right at the line to the end zone. Touchdown, Van. Jones in trouble again. Gets out of there. Now he'll take off. And he loses the football. It's up for grabs. And the Gamecocks got it. It's a touchdown for Jabari Ellis. it over to Bell. Bell slips a tackle. Touchdown. Felt really good about it. Went the other way on it quickly. Emory Jones throws and Cam Smith picks it off. An offside penalty against the Gators. Time in the pocket. Wide open, Mike. And he throws wide open. It's complete and all the way down the sideline. Touchdown, Sanford. Welch with a clean pocket. Floats it outside for Stanton, the running back, who's got room in front. He stumbles through some missed tackles. He's into the end zone. A third Sanford touchdown. The exact opposite. Tied at 28 against a 4-5 and five team from the FCS. And here goes Montreal Washington. He skipped through the defenders, and he's taking it all the way. He rolls away from pressure. He can scramble. He keeps going up the sideline and Welch does it for a second time. Not a bad day. Beatty, first time he's had some running room. Tyler out over the 35. Beatty comes.
comes near side, splits out wide. They pump fake there, flag is down, and they will hit Nico Hay, the tight end, down the near sideline! Touchdown, Missouri! From the far hash mark. Do the Tigers have it off? They give it to Beatty off the left side. Breaks two tackles, three tackles, and gets it inside. Yards on the ground, they'll give it to him again here. Quick hitter off the left side. Beatty to the end zone! Touchdown, Missouri! From the three-yard line. Bazelak in trouble, lofts it up to the end zone! They got it, touchdown! Tied in, Daniel Parker! And this one is in the books! Missouri wins it by one! start with the news that has shaken up the college football world. Just one year removed from an SEC championship game appearance, Dan Mullen is out. Yeah, after being in the SEC championship game, going toe-to-toe -to -toe last year with one of the best college football teams we've ever seen. Yeah. Dan Mullen now out as the Florida head football Well, coach. what's crazy is uh, it just amazing of where we're at in college football, just how quickly things can turn. Because if you look at the recruiting classes or the lack of recruiting prominence that Dan Mullins had over the course of his f past few years, even dating back to his time at Mississippi State, he wanted to find diamonds in the rough. That wasn't going to be okay at Florida. And I think that's ultimately what led to the decision. Not so much what he's done, but what the program looked like it was going to be in the years to come because of his inability to recruit at the same level as some of the best programs in college football. The reason why it was the right time is that the, the program has completely imploded since a year ago when, when Florida was playing for the SEC championship against Alabama. Yeah, they had that really close game against the Tide this year. They, they needed a two-point conversion to tie, but since then, it has been an absolute disaster, uh, losing to Kentucky, losing and getting blown out by schools like South Carolina, lost in overtime to Missouri, got waxed by Georgia, which is no great shame. But the, the accumulation of all that and the fact that Dan Mullen is not exactly a likable coach at times uh, forced the administration there to say, you know what, the situation here is toxic. We are going to make a change. Billy Napier has been patient and he finally landed the big job. He is the new coach at the University of Florida. Scared money don't make money. Scared money don't make money. An empty set, tripped right, twins to the left. The snap to Jones. Jones dropping back, looking, looking. Throws the ball down the left side. He has the tight end. Kamori Gamble on a catch. Breaks it back on the 15 and takes the ball in. It looks like he's going to be in for a touchdown. Oh, my. The snap to Jordan Travis. Travis dropping back. Hits some trouble. And down he goes. It's still tough to pay the player or something. Milton. He's throw and fires the ball downfield. And it's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 44-yard line. Down to 10, coming back the other way. Maybe Jones takes a shot, maybe not. Little trickery here. Jones, and he gives it right back. Picked off by Robinson. All day for Jones, and he's picked off at the 32-yard line. Travis going to take off. His do-it-yourself did. Works. Touchdown. Jones surveys into the end zone. Picked off for the third time. Football ball, boy, that's a way back there, and it's a 29 yard line. Made a fair catch and didn't get it. And the Gators got on it, and they recovered the ball to the right. Twins to the left. The snap to Richardson. Richardson stepping up, looking for a receiver. Fires it off to the right side. A uh, catch made there by McDavis, breaking a tackle. And up the field, he's got a first down after he broke the tackle. Last time the Gators were in the red zone. Richardson looking off to his left, throws it toward the end zone, and it's going to be caught. Juggling grab. Oh! Play. Here's second and one. The snap to Travis. Travis looks the Travis, rainbow of the ball. One on one coverage. Wrestled away. Intercepted. Richardson.
Johnson going to simply hand it off again, again to Pierce. Boy, he is bringing some mean, malicious intentions. Their effort right now is speaking volumes about their intention. These fans have supported them. Nobody is left. They're here. It means a lot. Pierce, great cutback. Pierce lost his head, but not his mind. Touchdown! But there's a flag. Look at that emotion that he's showing right there. Oh, he didn't care about the helmet. Like you said, Joseph, he lost his mind. He was ready to get in the end zone. It takes a special type of dude, Robert, to keep running without your helmet on. Jamie Robinson takes his helmet off. He says, shoot, man, you can take that. I'm going to go to the end zone anyway. And this man dived into the end zone. Head first. Head first <laughs> with no helmet on. If that doesn't tell you how much he wants this, how much these Gators want to win this game, I don't know what does. By rule, the ball became dead when the runner's helmet came off. However, he continued to participate. That's a personal foul for continuing to participate wow. without a helmet. Oh, my goodness. 15-yard penalty. I'm not sure how the player's supposed to immediately turn it off in the middle of a play like that. No, George, I'm with you. Right? That that Robert, you right here in this moment, when you're playing, you're running, and you see the end zone, you can smell the grass. Right? How is that in, in that moment right there? We never are taught to stop just because our helmet comes off. So yes, that might be a rule, but him finishing the play and being punished for that? Yeah, that's an ill-conceived rule if that's oh, the case. Man. Here he is again. No doubt about that. Kept his hat on and left no doubt. Touchdown, Gators. On second and goal, Travis fires. Caught at the one by Wilson. Although he was in the air, you can see him right here make this catch. And he is past the plane. In that moment. In that moment, that is a touchdown. Martin great this out there. Number 37. And he fakes it. Oh, he. Wow. He hit it. I'm not sure that was by design or not. I don't think so. Going on the field as if the kicker's foot touched the ball. Therefore, he kicked the ball. And then the kicking team illegally touched the ball. Will be placed at the spot of illegal touching. First down, Florida. Wow. Yeah, we have seen it all today. It looks like the Seminoles are going to come up a foot short. another win. Announced Sunday, it's accepted an invitation to play the University of Florida December 23rd at the Gasparilla Bowl in Tampa. A bit of a lose lose you know if we if we if we win we're supposed to if we lose uh oh we're gonna hear a lot of talking for the next couple of years i will be bragging if i lose he's not allowed to brag what you get
game, of course, is a clash of football programs with vastly different histories. One has national championships. The other was nationally ranked for the first time only in 2010. The Knights won two straight and five of the last six to get here. And away we go from the Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl. Malik Davis, the running back, best starting position for Florida in their three possessions. Emory Jones looking for a place to throw, now has to tuck it away, and he'll be brought down behind the line. And that was Cam Good. Absolutely. And Pierce to the goal line and into the end zone with the Florida touchdown. Second down and long. Richardson trying to get the run game cranked up. Here's UCS best run of the night with Johnny Richardson in the Florida territory. Who throws a block? Quick snap, Bowser, touchdown. Here's the reverse, and this is O'Keefe with room. At the 20, 15, and inside the 10. Back tonight, here's the reverse, and O'Keefe again oh, spinning to the near side. Oh, and Ryan O'Keefe keeps his feet out of a tackle, and it's a race now. Can he get to the end zone? No, pulled down at the four. They do not review it. Bowser fighting, touchdown, UCF. Personal foul, defense number 28. He threw a punch. By rule, he is disqualified from the game. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Wow. That's Tyron Harper, the linebacker, who's been a star for Florida in the first half. He's Roddy, back to the ejection of Hopper here. Yeah, he's at the top of the screen, just jarring with an offensive lineman. I don't know. I, look, it is certainly a it is certainly a, a penalty. I from that angle, it looked more like a push than a punch. Here's Davis changing gears made a man miss. Just inside the 20, Knights with a lead of six. Davis sprints through at the 10, five touchdown Florida. Scoring three times. Here's a long throw. There's some jawing going on in the middle of the field. Players having to be separated. We've seen the emotion in this game. Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up? Yeah, yeah they're going to have to get some folks in here and take care of this because we saw it bubbling up during the course of the game. Sure, UCF hanging the 2017 national banner in the bounce house, the national champion banner for 2017. Now they can hang the uh, 2021 state champion of Florida. <laughs> oh, dab on them. <laughs> A lot of special people, right? Don't ever forget it, man. If you, if you remember anything that I tell you, life is about people. All right, this is a great game because it forces you, all right, it forces you to work together as people, to put your ego aside, right, to be a great teammate, right, to accept your role, to work to earn more, right? Don't ever forget that about this game. This game can teach you a lot about life. All right, it's a great game, man. Unbelievable game, right? I can't imagine doing anything else, right? I'm getting on a plane, all right, and I'm going uh, to the next stop, okay? All right, but I love every one of you.
You know, I think the, the key here is that we get our feet on the ground. Uh, we've refined this process over the last four years. Uh, once you decide who you think is good enough to play for the Gators, uh, then it's about recruitment, right? It's about customer service, it's about building relationships, it's about selling the University of Florida, the history, the tradition, the iconic players and coaches, top five public institution in a great part of the country. I'll be going to the University of Florida. Kamari Wilson, five-star safety, number one safety, headed to Florida. And new head coach, Billy Napier, getting the signing and signature of Kamari Wilson.